The float barn on Southeast 108th Street is where the magic happens. I just love it. It's, it's my thing. We're doing parade floats. From painting to gluing to cutting, hundreds of volunteers are putting final touches to these floats. So excited to be back. It's the, you know, Rose City reunion and um, I think it's just fabulous that we get to come back together and celebrate Rose Festival as a community again. The Grand Floral Parade was sidelined the past couple of years because of the pandemic. But this year, it's back in full swing. You know, it'll be a grand parade. 35 floats are making a comeback, including Spirit Mountain. It has been two years and actually we started planning this float over two years ago. Jocelyn Hoffman is with Spirit Mountain Casino. We took some images of our tribal members um, gathering camas and really kind of wanted to bring that to life. The flow depicts a native woman using a traditional digging stick to harvest camas, an important tradition for the Grand Ronde people. We try to tell a story of what's going on in the tribe, what's going on in the community, what's going on in the state of Oregon. So it's really personal for me to be involved to, to tell a story. This float and others will head down a new route this year. For the first time in decades, the Grand Flora Parade will be entirely on Portland's east side. I was crossing my fingers this year. I really wanted to come back. Linnea Kuhn has volunteered to decorate floats every year for the last two decades. She loves to see the transformation. How blank the floats are. And then all of a sudden they start putting the product on and, you, and the colors and the, and the textures are just fabulous and they, the float just starts coming alive. A little parade magic to bring people back together. I think it inspires community um, support and you know shows everybody that we can all come back together and be a community again. The Grand Floral Parade will kick off Saturday morning around 10 from the Memorial Coliseum and the parade is expected to wrap up around noon. If you'd like to volunteer, it's not too late. You can stop on by the float barn on Southeast 108th Avenue. I'm Christelle Kumwe for KGW News.